Hi, Brad's Babes. Uh, welcome back to my channel. My fiance has gone back on the road, which is pretty depressing. I'm not gonna lie. I I really, I I, I really do find it devastating every single time my fiance goes back on the road because then I'm like, you know, back at this apartment alone with my thoughts for two weeks. Um, because, you know, I don't really have a lot of friends or gas money to go see friends. So, yeah. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm, I need to message my one friend that reminds me. Yikes. Um. Also, I was wondering if you guys would be interested in, like, a video where I introduce y'all to my, um, fiancé. Um, and if I were to do such a video, is there anything that you guys would like to know? Or anything in particular you're curious of? Um, just, like, icebreaker stuff, you know what I mean? Um, you know, so just, like, let me know in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, let's see... I've mostly just been sick. Yesterday, I ate um, food that I really shouldn't have, and it made me physically sick. I was puking all night last night, and it was just... I had three, three things that I should not have had. Um, cheese. Very sugary bread crap, and like processed butter crap. Um, that's not even real butter, probably. Like, I don't know. Like, between those three things, my stomach was just set off. And for the rest of the night, even the thought of, like, idea of anything just set me off. Um, I'm feeling better today, though. I had to rest a lot because, like, I've, it's, it's starting a form so i have these like pimple patches but like they feel weird so i keep robbing them sorry uh gosh i forgot what i was saying Look at me, I just cleaned my room. I picked up one piece of rubbish and put it into the bin. And that's cleaning the room, I guess. I'm sick. I'll take a win where I can, you know? Oh, speaking of wins, um, on Friday night when my fiance came home, um, we were going to go out to dinner at my favorite Japanese restaurant. And I didn't end up getting to vlog there because there was this whole panic over, um, he lost his wallet, and we were, like, panicking over that. Um, luckily, I had my wallet on me, so we were able to just, like, transfer funds and just go from there. Um, and, yeah. So, like, we went to dinner, and that was really awesome. I really enjoyed what I had. Um, I had the same thing I always have. To Honestly, I get the same thing there so often that all all three of the waiters that typically uh end up waiting on us um know exactly what I'm gonna get every time and I think that's kind of funny um one of the waiters every time he sees us he'll even say welcome home he'll greet us and talk to us even when we, uh he's not our waiter for the evening so it's just like I don't know it's a very like welcoming type of environment that I really enjoy, I really do, and their food is, oh, stupendous, spectacular, superb. I love Japanese cuisine, it is my favorite. Um, it just, it tastes so clean, and I don't know how else to explain that. Um... It's, and it's so beautiful too. Like the the just 
just the attention to detail in the plating of the food, even that, like the presentation, 10 out of 10 every time. Um, like, I don't know, Jap when it comes to food, Japanese people know what they're, they're doing. That's all I can say. Um, cause this place is my favorite place on earth to go to eat. Um, it's one of the few places on earth that I will actually go out to eat at. Uh, I think I'm starting to get a zit on my forehead too. Oh, I'm, what if I did like a video where I like showed you guys like, oh my gosh, my purse and the stuff that I keep in it. Would you guys find that interesting? Oh boy, more frogs. Um, hmm. I don't really have much else to say. Oh, okay, so I was rambling about the Japanese place and then I totally forgot the fact that that was leading into a story. So we were going out to dinner at this place and, um, And, um, my fiance couldn't find his wallet, so we had to, like, figure out, um, a solution, which ended up being, you know, to transfer funds, and because I had my wallet on me, uh, I keep it in my purse at all times, and, yeah, so, like, we were still able to go out to dinner and I was like, okay, let's, let's handle the immediate. Let's have a meal. Cause the both of us, like neither of us had eaten in hours. We were both starving and on edge and just m miserable feeling. Uh, so it was like, let's just eat, you know, calm down and look at this with a clear head. And so that's what we did. You know, after we searched everywhere we had been for the wallet, we decided just to go in, eat, and then, um, yeah, so we went in and ate, and afterwards, uh, we get into the car, and he looks around one more time, I'm looking around one more time, you know, just in case, like, with, like, you know, having the clarity of having eaten, that maybe, like, we would find it, so, and then we're sitting there, because we couldn't find it, and we're sitting there, and, I don't even remember what he said, but I was looking over at him and he was talking about thinking that it fell behind his, uh, the driver's seat where he was sitting. So he turns around to, uh, look for it and doesn't find it. And when he, uh, turns back around to face forward, um, I look around the same area and right next to the seatbelt. Next, between his leg and the sweet belt, the wallet was sitting right there. And I'm just like, the wallet is right next to you. And he was so overcome with, like, absolute relief and gratitude that I had spot it and that it wasn't, in fact, lost and that it was just right there in the car. Um, that, like, he... he like, basically, like, he grabbed my face and kissed me all over, and it was, like, so cute. He, he really, that was his whole livelihood, that wallet. Um, like, with, without it, like, okay, so his, his license is in there, his medical, um, card is in there. Like, he's got important stuff that's in there that if he were to lose it, there goes his livelihood. There goes our livelihood, because he wouldn't be able to work. So, it was a really big deal. So... It was really nice. So after two weeks of COVID and pure isolation and depression, um, having a nice little win like that was really lovely. Um, I'm no longer COVID positive, of course, but like, I'm still like struggling with the symptoms. I haven't been, gosh, last week I wasn't even COVID positive anymore. I just, like I said, I was 
just dealing with the long-term symptoms still. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the most eventful thing. Uh, I thought I saw a bee or a wasp or something on my, at my window and I was about to, oh my gosh. I don't think I would have been able to deal with that. I just don't have the energy. I just don't feel good. Um, also, look at this really old lion. He's a pillow and he's really like flat. And I like how his nose is heart shaped. It's really cute. Um, this was my fiance's. We went to his parents' house um, yesterday and had dinner. Um, but yeah, it was my fiance's when he was younger. And uh, he was like, you know, it's, he's like, if you want it, you can have it. And I'm like, oh, wow, really? And he's like, yeah, I mean, it's better than it sitting in this closet. And I was like, cool. So it's, it's a very comfy pillow. Um, I brought it home, washed it, because, you know, it had been sitting for a while. Um, I didn't wash it till today, though. But it's a really nice pillow. Um, it's cute. I named him Lionel, um, because my fiancé couldn't remember if he had named him. Um, and if he had, he couldn't remember a name, so, um, yeah. So I was like, well, would it be okay if I named him? And my fiancé was like, yeah, absolutely. And I was like, cool. Um, I was thinking Lionel. Because, you know, he's a lion, lion so Lionel. Huh. Uh, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, gosh. I don't think I really have anything else to really say. Um, not very eventful the past couple of days, other than just feeling sick, really, overall. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um... I'll catch you in the next one. Also, don't forget to let me know in the comments uh, if there's anything particularly you would like to know about my fiancé, um, like some icebreaker questions you have or something. Um, and also if you guys would be interested in a purse tour video um, because I think that would be fun. I might do it anyway. I'm not going to lie. Um, but anyway, see you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.